Hello everyone. Hello everyone. This is a continuation of example problem one of implicit differentiation and this is part B. Now part B reads, find all points on the curve whose x-coordinate is 1 and write the equation for the tangent line at each of these points. Now this question is a two-part question. We have to find the coordinates the x-coordinates, y-coordinate. So x-coordinate is 1, and we have to find the y-coordinate of these points on the curve. And we have to write the equation for the tangent line at each of these points. We have to write two equations. Okay, so let's start with part 1. Find all points on the curve whose x-coordinate is 1. Now, since there are two parts to this question, we can simply combine them into one system of equations and work from there. So find all points on the curve whose x-coordinate is 1. So we need two things. We need the curve, which is known, which is x, y squared minus x cubed y equals 6. Now what I mean by known is that it's already given in the question. And the second part is whose x-coordinate is 1. Now. We can solve this like a system of equations. All we have to do is plug in the 1 wherever we see x in the equation. So, part 1. 1 y squared minus 1 cubed y equals 6 y squared minus 1 cubed, which is minus 1 times y is minus y equals 6. Now, since we want to get points, right, we need to set this equation equal to 0. So we move the 6 on the other side so they can easily factor. So this is simply y minus. 3 and y plus 2 and y equals 3 and y equals negative 2. Now we found the y coordinates. Now I just to place them into points. So the x was given, x is 1. So both these are 1. And the y is 3 and negative 2. So we are done with part 1. Find all points on the curve whose x coordinate is 1. Now we have to write the equation for the tangent line. Now, the tangent line, so I, I'm just taking the derivative again. 3x squared times y minus y squared all divided by 2xy minus x and then I plug in the x and y from one of the points and I solve it so that's 9 minus 9 which is 0 divided by 5 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5, which means the slope equals 0. Now, so now we're going to put into point slope form. And what point slope form is? It is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now we have our point, we have our slope, m is slope, 
which is 0, which we got from plugging 1, 3 into the derivative. So we only do is substitute these in. So y minus 3, make sure the 3 goes in there, not the 1, equals 0 times x minus 1. Now you're saying, well, 0 times this is 0. Yes, it is. So 0 equals y minus 3. And y equals 3 is the equation of the line. Which means, if this is the y-intercept, this is the x, 1, 2, 3, this would be the y. Now, we are not done. We have another part to the second part. We did the point 1, comma 3. Now we have to do the same thing for the point 1, comma negative 2. I have taken the derivative that was given, and I already have substituted 1 for all the x's and negative 2 for all the y's. And so it reads 3 times 1 to the second power times negative 2 minus negative 2 raised to the second power all divided by 2 times 1 times negative 2 minus 1 to the third and when solved this equals 3 times 1 times negative 2 minus 4 over 2 times negative 2 minus 1 which equals negative 6 minus 4 which is negative 10 all over negative 4 minus 1 which is negative 5 which equals 2 so the slope is 2 so we go back to what we did here and we use the point intercept block and we see the same thing here. So y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So y in this case is just y minus negative 2. So minus minus equals plus equals the slope which is 2 x minus one. Let me simplify that. Y plus two equals two x minus two. Distribute, distribute. And we get y equals two x minus four. Could be minus four here. I mean minus two here. We have minus two here and minus two minus two is negative four. So y equals two x minus four, and that is the second equation. And this is the first equation. So both parts of part two are done and we are complete. So we found the points at which x is one. And we found the um, line of the tangent of those points.